Hello everyone from absolutely beautiful Ottawa. So today I'd like to give you my thoughts and opinion on the Atomic Saver Amit Visor HD. So to begin with, if you're interested in this kind of helmet, then you are probably interested because of this beautiful, very large visor uh, that Atomic has built onto this helmet. So this basically means that you don't have to buy additional goggles, which makes it actually super convenient. And also you can just flip the visor up, um, take off your helmet, and you don't really have to bother um, or care about your goggles, kind of losing them with the strap um, on top of the helmet or stuff like that. Now this visor is actually super convenient, so you have an absolutely massive field of view, uh, so you can basically see all that you would usually see even without a helmet, which usually isn't the case if you have regular old goggles. Uh, so this is a big plus point of this helmet. And then obviously also the fact that you can just kind of flip the visor up and don't have to bother about where your goggles are going or if you might lose them is also pretty neat. Now, in case that you are wondering whether this is actually going to be able to uh, sort of close the gap nicely between the uh, visor and your face, then I can definitely guarantee you that with this helmet, once you've actually attached the strap, it presses very nicely against your nose and your cheeks, so you won't get any of the wind kind of blowing in your face. And also another good thing about such a visor is that you actually don't have a gap here at the top, uh, where you usually with these goggles, you would have like the cold air it's blowing in here which is just extremely uncomfortable so with this visor you don't get the air on your forehead and you also don't get the air down here on your cheeks so everything is very nice and tight and air sealed obviously you'll have to figure out which size of helmet um, well suits your size and in my case actually my head is exactly to the millimeter 55 centimeters big and the helmet that i selected here is in fact the s version which is the one that goes i think from 51 centimeters to 55 centimeters so i'm right at the edge of sort of fitting into the helmet but it's also kind of a bit too small and i would actually sort of prefer if the helmet was slightly bigger for my head. Speaking about size, um, because the helmet is actually kind of very snugly fitting on my head, um, I'm also not really able to put in uh, in-ear headsets or in-ear speakers in my ears when I'm actually riding the slopes, which is a bit sad because I do really uh, enjoy listening to music when skiing. I found that extremely chilling and relaxing. Uh, but unfortunately with this helmet, this isn't that possible. Well, I guess it's possible, but it's not really very comfortable. So, well, again, you have to kind of figure that out for yourselves or maybe you don't even listen to music. So that's not really a problem anyways. Uh, something else I can tell you is that the, uh, the side cushions here on your ears are extremely warm. They're super comfortable. Also just the entire interior. So they have this kind of merino liner uh, inside, which is just insanely comfortable. It's it's both super comfortable and super warm. Um, and at the same time, it doesn't itch. That's actually one of uh, the reasons why I switched to another helmet, because my old one would just itch massively. Sorry. Now I have to put the helmet back on because the sunlight is extremely bright. And with all this snow around me, I can't really open my eyes without goggles. Uh, so I'll just put the helmet back on. Um, but anyways, once we talk about the liner, I should probably also talk about this AMIT system that they built into this helmet here. So this is the Atomic Multi-Directional Impact um, Absorption System. So essentially, it uh, the helmet obviously absorbs um, direct impacts, but then also kind of rotation forces. So it kind of absorbs this rotation so it doesn't get translated directly onto your head. Now, another pretty neat feature of this helmet is the kind of magnetic um, lock that they have going on. And I'm not quite sure if I manage to attach it with just one hand here, but if I do, then that would be an absolutely massive uh, point of demonstration how easy it is to sort of attach this helmet uh, to your head. And I'm, oh fuck, not sure. Yeah, actually I managed. All right, there you go. So it's a magnetic lock. So you can basically just snap it in place. It's actually much easier if you can do it with both hands. Um, but the good thing about this is it's much easier to put in than one of the regular clips that they usually have on their helmets. 
And the second good thing is that if you wanna open it, it's just kind of a, a lateral push here and the lock opens. Now, just briefly, a final point about the visor. I didn't actually ride this in wet conditions, so I've never been out skiing with this helmet when it has been snowing or and when it has been uh, snowing at relatively high temperatures, so the snow would be quite wet. Um, because I'm still not 100% sure that the seam at the top is going to be able to hold off any water that is coming down. There is kind of a small lip um, kind of at the end of the helmet, which probably should prevent kind of water leaking into the helmet. Um, but for now, all I've been riding this helmet in was weather just like this. Uh, so absolutely beautiful sunshine. And therefore I really didn't have any issues in terms of water uh, sort of coming into my helmet and kind of infiltrating the inside of the helmet. And in fact, I lied. There actually is one more feature when it comes to the visor, and that is that you can uh, replace the uh, mounting points of the visor with smaller or bigger mounting points. So this, that the one that I currently have equipped um, is called the just vision mounting point. And you can replace this with a bigger mounting point. So kind of the, the visor pushes or it gets just kind of pushed forward a little bit away from your face, essentially. And this is called the OTG. Um, mounting point, so over the glasses, uh, meaning that this is the suitable configuration if you want to wear this helmet when you're wearing glasses. So concluding, I would really recommend anybody who is looking for a new helmet um, to go try them out. Go try them out at your local dealer and make sure that they fit uh, your personal head shape, because all of these um, helmets are slightly different shaped and I apparently have a, a rather round head, uh, which is why this helmet, this specific helmet, feels very comfortable for me. I personally would love if there was sort of a intermediate uh, size uh, other than just the 51 to 55 that I currently have, because it is kind of at the, at the kind of sl small size for my head. But still, as I mentioned, my head is exactly 55 centimeters and the bigger one, so going from 55 to 59, would definitely be absolute overkill and would wobble around. So I definitely not want the bigger helmet for me personally. Um, but I am really happy with this specific helmet. The visor is super convenient. Uh, the sort of feel of view that you have, it's just like driving in full HD. So, I mean, it's called the visor HD for a reason because it is, it is that much fun to actually ride with this helmet. You just see much more than with regular old goggles. And then of course, it also is super com uh, comfortable. The inner liner is, is very comfortable material. It doesn't itch. And for me personally, this has been an absolute fantastic upgrade coming from my old helmet, which I think I had since 14 years or yeah, I think 14 years. I definitely should have replaced that helmet long, long ago. Good thing I never had any accidents. Uh, but anyways, that's kind of my thoughts and review of the Atomic Saver Amit Vision HD. If you like this video, then leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this with kind of outdoorsy reviews, um, a very nice um, video from absolutely lovely places as the one I'm currently in, then definitely hit that sub button and ring the bell so you won't miss any future videos. But with that, I'd like to say goodbye and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Peace.